channel guys tonight tonight we're having some some red snapper but I'm gonna be stuffing them with some um, we have spinach this is this is about seven or eight okras I already went ahead and prepped everything um, we have some green onions in here some scotch bonnet pepper in this one this one we have some shallot and some um, minced garlic and in here we have some bell peppers lots of colors going on guys and I have my season that I went ahead and pre-mixed um, you guys can use whatever season you want but this is my secret so I can't tell you guys what I'm using today and of course we have some prawns so it's kind of like a seafood stuffed snapper normally I would use um, shrimp and lobster but today I'm only using shrimp this is about five jumbo shrimp like the huge ones you can get these from like superstore or co-op or your local supermarket wherever you are in the world so we have two snappers see they're big size snappers huge nice so I'm gonna be stuffing two of them so it's all scaled nicely and washed and I pat them dry but I also make sure that you clean inside very well you have to make sure the inside is nice and cleaned and dried and all the guts are out and after they were scaled I washed them with um, fresh lemon to get all the rawness off of it and everything because I'm doing fish always make sure that you try to keep your hands as clean as possible always keep a paper towel close by that you're not contaminated anything mind you they're all going into the fish but you know you want to kind of still keep everything clean so first off what I'm going to do is I am going to pair my fish so what I do I core the fish on both sides and I'm going to season it with my powdered season the reason for this is at least this way instead of the seasoning being on the outside of the fish it's inside of the fish to have a little bit more flavor in and stuff like that so just a small knife I have and I'm going to just make two slices on each side see pretty deep enough not overly deep just enough to get the seasoning in there so I'm gonna flip it over I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I guess you should have a pretty sharp knife too you can see mine's pretty sharp on both sides so that's what it looks like and I'll continue doing that with the other one Flip it over, repeating the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that's done, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to take my season that I have here mixed up nicely. There's about five or six different things going on here. You can use some black pepper, some all-purpose seasoning, fish seasoning, whatever seasoning you want. I even use some jerk seasoning in there too. And then I'll just kind of coat the slices like that, just to make sure you can rub it all in there. Make sure it's nice and coated like that, like that. And if there's excess, don't worry about that. I'll just use the fish to kind of soak up everything. So same thing, both fish. Just get it all in there. Don't be afraid to get friendly with the fish, guys. Give it a little bit of massage. See, it's nicely coated. Look at all that, all that seasoning. See, take the fish, rub it on the board just to get all that excess off there. Don't wanna waste any of that seasoning that we have going on. Okay, as you can see, it's nicely layered in there. Seasoning smells so, so good. See, nice and clean. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. Always make sure you keep washing your hands, guys. Don't wanna have any cross contamination with your food. Like I said, it's all together, but it's always nice to 
work with clean hands. All right, so the next part is what I'm going to be doing. Now I'm going to add all of these ingredients into this bowl to mix it together. So I'm going to go ahead and add my spinach. green onions, my okra, all my bell peppers, my shallot and my garlic. So like I think I use one shallot because they're kind of small. You don't have to use a big one. This is a whole scotch bonnet. I keep the seeds in because when I'm eating fish, I like it spicy. So. Some people don't like it spicy, so they don't do that. So as you can see in here, look at that. Colorful and nice. It's just beautiful, people. Beautiful colors. See, that's all mixed together. So now I'm gonna add my shrimp into the mix. Like I said, guys, you guys can put whatever stuff you want to put in there. And then what I'm going to be doing, my leftover seasoning that I have here, I'm going to just go ahead, sprinkle it all over this. You don't need to use all of it because you still want to keep it fresh. You don't want to have too much salt. And the, sea the fish is already seasoned, so you don't really need too much seasoning. You just want enough to make sure that it has some flavor on the inside. Mix it all together. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more. Not too much. See, I still have some seasoning left over. So. And don't be afraid to get your hands in there. Mix it all up together. Some people don't like to use their hands when they're cooking, but I think that's the best way. Okay, now that we have our mixture together, I'm gonna bring this closer. I'm just gonna go ahead, move that out of the way. And I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to be stuffing a little bit, stuffing everything on the inside and the head and everything like that. So I'm going to take my mixture. I'm going to take my mixture and I'm going to stuff it in there like that. All up in the head. See all of that, guys? and get it all in there as much as possible. Like I said, don't be afraid to touch the food, guys. See, it's in there. Get it all in there. The more, the better. This is gonna be so nice after it's done. And fill in. So once it's stuffed, see, it's all pulping through the head and everything, okay. So what I'm gonna do is, as you can tell, I have, obviously I have excess left over, which I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it after. So this is how much I have left over. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in, um, let me wash my hands, guys. I'm gonna put this in um, foil paper and wrap it. And I'm gonna show you what I do with the excess mixture that I have left over. So I'm just gonna move this to the side a little bit. Get my counter nice and clean here, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my foil. I'm gonna do one at a time, so that's the first part. And I'm using, just so it doesn't stick, this is butter. So I put some butter on the bottom so, you know, your fish doesn't slick. You notice that when I take it off the grill, it's just going to slide right out of the foil. No stripping off the outside part of the fish. All of that good stuff. See? I don't want to waste all that butter, so I'm going to just put it... In with all of this stuff so I'm gonna take one of the fish and I'm going to place it 
in the center of the foil. See? Okay, the reason for the butter, as I said, guys, is to make sure that there's no sticking or anything like that after. So now, with that, some of that excess that I told you about, I'm just gonna take it and just place it on top of the fish like that there. guys rinse my hand again a lot of rinsing going on guys lots of rinsing and then I'm gonna get another foil and then what I do I put the foil on top like that Fold it in to make sure that nothing leaks out. And fold it towards the fish, not away from the fish, guys. And then I just fold the other end in, flip it around, fold the other one like that. So, so that's one. And I'm going to do the other one. Same thing. some butter just rub it all over like that just make sure it's nice and coated at the bottom just like this okay and then I'm gonna take the fish place it like that on top And then the excess that's left for this one, we put it on top like so. Just like that. Get everything in there, guys. Wash my hands one last time. Again, we're going to fold inwards, and then we're going to fold inwards, on both sides, and it flip like that, and flip like that, and here we have two fish. I'm going to be putting this on the barbecue right away. Um, I preheat my barbecue to about 300 because you don't want it to have it on a high heat. Just 300, just keep watching it and I'm gonna let it cook for about 45 minutes. So when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys the final result. Hope you guys are gonna love my video and enjoy. And Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like what's happening, I, I encourage all feedback good or bad whatever you want me to make just send your suggestions and i'll be happy to do that so guys here is my final product my beautiful red snappers with some crackers water crackers or crackers isn't it lovely all that goodness i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you next time